Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and have you got yourself a fancy pair of headphones that you really wish had a microphone so that you could use them like a gaming headset and be able to talk to your friends while you play games? Well, there's good news, because there is the ModMic Wireless, which is from Antlion Audio, and it's an interesting clip-on wireless microphone, which has up to 12 hours of battery life and works with Windows, Mac, Linux and PlayStation 4 and 5 but not Xbox and this is really interesting because it will work with any pair of headphones theoretically as long as they're able to take the attachment and I'll show you what I mean about that in a minute but here you can see them on the Bayer Dynamic headphones which is a wicked upgrade because these are great headphones and now they've also got a microphone and it's held on with a magnet so you can actually take that mic off when you don't want to use it. I'm using the microphone right now to do the capture of this audio and you can see it here on the HyperX Cloud Alphas as well. I went with two mics on that headset just because I'm crazy and I want to be able to show you a bit later on the audio difference between the microphone on that headset and this modern mic wireless to get you an idea of what the quality is like. Now this is an interesting setup. It comes with a nice little carry case and obviously the microphone itself as well as cables to charge it because obviously it has battery technology inside there but it uses Qualcomm's aptX technology for the connectivity to your PC which means you have a low latency system that delivers a faster connection than Bluetooth. It has a latency of around 34 milliseconds which they claim is five times faster than Bluetooth. Bluetooth. It has a USB dongle that you'll see there that delivers that connection and allows the mic to give you up to 16 bit 48 kilohertz signal, which is DVD quality, and that's with a 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz frequency response. Now, in the box, you get a couple of cables. One's an extension lead, which allows you to plug in the dongle and get it close to you so that it has a close signal range to the microphone for the best quality. And then the other one is for charging it up. The mic itself also has two different modes. It has omnidirectional and unidirectional modes which provide an ever so slightly different soundscape. One offers a better voice capture quality and that's the one I'm using now but that also picks up a little bit more background noise so you can switch to the other mode to eliminate that noise which is really cool. Now this is an interesting option and a really convenient and easy to use one. I'm going to do a full unboxing and review of this microphone but I just wanted to show it off because I think it's fascinating the fact that you can get a wireless mic that you can really easily attach to any headset and then capture really good quality. As you can hear from the voiceover this mic does a good job of picking up my voice and delivering a rich quality and it's very surprising for a wireless microphone you rarely see a headset with a good mic on it especially a wireless one I've only seen a few in my time the likes of the Corsair Virtuoso for example has a fantastic broadcast quality microphone and this mic is also broadcast quality. Now it comes with this little magnet system in the box which you can see as a 3M sticker on the back of it and you can see the strength of that magnet as well as I drop and it gets sucked or straight onto the attachment. It actually comes with two of these magnets in the box as well which is cool because if you lose one obviously you have a spare but also it means that if you have multiple different headsets you can attach that magnet to two headsets or headphones and you can therefore have the mic easily swappable between them. So as you've already seen, and I'll show you again in a second, I've attached it to the Bear Dynamic headphones, but I also attached it to the HyperX Cloud Alphas because I wanted to show the flexibility of the system and how it works. So all you need to do is basically to set it up to peel off a 3M sticker, put the mic in place and hold it there. Now you need to position it on the right hand side ideally they say because that means you can easily plug it in and have the connection. Also beneficial for me because my computer is on my right hand side as well so it means the signal is not blocked by anything. Fairly simple. There's an alcohol wipe inside the packet that you use to clean up the outer shell of your headphones or headset before putting it on. That obviously ensures that a good suction between the sticker and 
the base. And this is the point that I was talking about before. It might be that if you have an open back headset or something with a really rough design, then attaching this 3M sticker magnet system might be a bit tricky. Obviously with these bare dynamics it's pretty straightforward because the surface is pretty flat and so it's pretty solid and easy to connect up. But if you had something that had like a texture on it or a bit of a weird design on the outer shell, it might be a bit more problematic. You obviously also need to position it in a way that you can get sort of close to your mouth, but they recommend not putting it so close that basically the mic is sitting in front of your mouth and you'll be constantly breathing on it. It won't eliminate plosives and they do know that it will have a problem with P sounds, especially if you do that. But you can see from where I positioned it, it's fairly just off to the side of my mouth where it will be as I'll show you and reasonably positioned to give good audio. Also, it's really simple to take off as you can see. So you can just pop it off when you don't want to and now it's back to headphones and you can use those without having a mic on. So it has the benefit of having a removable microphone and you can just carry on using your headphones when you want to use them as headphones. Also, you can take it off to charge or just take it off when you don't want to use it so it's not in the way if you're eating food, for example. There are some downsides to this setup. Obviously, there's no side tone so you can't hear yourself through the microphone and things like that. There's no warning when you're muting it but there is a light so it lights up red when you press the button on the outer edge to let you know that it's muted but obviously you can't see that muting at the time so that's a bit of a downside there's one small problem with it but it has up to 12 hours of battery life and I'm going to go into more depth on these sorts of things in the proper unboxing and review but you know that's a decent offering and you can also plug it in and charge it while using it as well so now you can see it on the HyperX Cloud Alphas which again have a sort of semi smooth outer shell to them but because I've got two magnets included in the box that means I can easily snap the mic between the two so you might change which headset you want to use you might have a personal preference and you might want to go between two or maybe that's just unnecessary, but I thought it was pretty cool. And you can try crazy stuff like this, where you put two mics on one headset and then see if you can fathom a way to use both of them at the same time, which is an interesting thing that I want to try out. So I have actually worked out how to record two audio sources at once, or two microphones in OBS, but that's for another video. I'm not really sure how interesting that'll be. And this is obviously with both microphones attached. I'm currently using the Mod Mic Wireless, just to give you an idea of what the quality's like there. One of the things that I want to show is the different modes. So this is the one that makes you sound better. Or is it this one? You switch between the two, one of them eliminates background noise and the other one gives you a clearer voice and a more natural sound. But the difference that you'll see is when I switch over to the Cloud Alpha microphone, you'll hear that's quite a bit more compressed, so I'm going to do that now. So here I am with the Cloud Alpha microphone, and this is the quality of that. And I haven't muted this one, but it is turned off. But you can just see that if you just press it, then it is red, and that's lit up red. That lets you know that that's muted. But you can hear immediately the difference between the two microphones, despite the fact that this is a wired headset and a wired mic because it's plugged directly into the headset. The quality isn't as good as the wireless microphone, with the mod mic wireless. So I'll switch back again, unmute it again, and let you see the quality difference. I've muted the Cloud Alpha microphone, and you can hear the sound difference between the two. So it is an interesting upgrade. Obviously, I could just remove this Cloud Alpha mic. <laughs> you don't have to have two microphones like a maniac. And then if you want to, I can then take this off and then I just have a pair of headphones, admittedly, with a cable. Now, obviously, attaching this wireless microphone to a wireless headset might be possible. Unfortunately, I don't happen to have one. I did think about putting the mic on the Astro 50s, but then I wouldn't be able to put them in the charging base station, so that would be problematic. But maybe something to consider. This has been the Provoke Prawn. Be sure to come back for the full review in the near future. Thanks for watching. This has been the Provoke Prawn. Hope you found this video useful, interesting, hilarious, or otherwise. Take a look at these other videos that I think you might find interesting as well. And have a look at the description for links and other information you might find useful. Click that join button to see the benefits of being a member of my YouTube channel. And most importantly, have a great life.